Hi everyone, Karen here. I'll be your facilitator when you come out to the arena. This is Duke and we're just going to give you the safety demo. If you put this in your memory banks, it'll save us some time when you get out here. First off, how do we approach a horse? We normally come from the side. If we come directly from the front or the back, you can come back here baby. We are behaving as a predator, but if we come from the side, uh, it's very submissive. So we approach from the side and usually when we get to about a meter away, we offer them our hand and it's important to either to have a closed fist or to have straight fingers with your thumb tucked in because horses have three blind spots and one of their blind spots is directly in front of their face. If you put soft fingers out, they'll be feeling it and seeing if it's food or not. Whereas if you've got a fist or your fingers are nice and taut, they will know not to bite it. I've offered my hand, he smelt, and then I'll come down and give him a rub on the neck or the shoulder. Remembering the horse has three blind spots, when we're at the front of the horse, please allow them some distance between the end of the nose and our bodies. Even though you may be um, very, very much tempted to go and kiss them on the nose, um, if they put their head up for any reason, might be to look at something possibly dangerous behind them, you might get a bump on the nose or the, or the chin. Leave some space in front of them. And how do we walk safely behind our horse? I'm simply going to go with my hand on the horse along his back as close as possible to the tail. He can feel me and can also hear me. You'll notice his ears are following my voice and my touch. And then I'll continue around to the other side. That's one way of going around a horse. The second way is going way behind the horse, right outside the kick zone. I'm going right around here. Even if he kicked me now, he wouldn't make any contact. And then down to the other side. I'll leave that up to you when you're here. They're the two safe ways of moving around the horse. All right, how do we handle our rope? Really important that we don't wrap the rope around our hand. The horse gets a spook and takes off. It'll tighten around your hand and might get some injuries. When you're holding the rope, hold it either like that. If anything happens, simply drop the rope and step away. And if the horse is coming towards you, put your hands up nice and high. We're working with the rope. We've done our rope safety. We're not looping it around our hand. Now to be polite to our horse, we also want to have what we call a smiley face in the rope when we're moving around the arena. We do not need to have our hand on the buckle underneath the halter. That's like being scruffed by the scruff of your neck on your shirt and dragged around the arena. It doesn't give them the freedom to move their head and see where they're going and what to, to avoid. If possible, keep the long smiley face. If we're in more confined space, maybe take up to a foot away from the buckle. It's only very rarely that you will need at all to handle the buckle. How do we move our horse around? First, let's see about backing. The easiest way for our horses is using two fingers, not a flat hand, but two fingers only. They follow your eyes and your body language a lot. I want him to back up here. I'm using two fingers on the chest. My body language is nice and forward. And as soon as he's done the right thing, I take my hand away and give him a rub. That's a reward. So that's one way to back. Another way is from the nose. Come up here, Danny. Good boy. I put my hand gently cupping his nose. If I hold it flat, he can move his head sideways and wiggle out of it. He just knows it's, my hand is here. I'm wanting him to go straight back, making sure there's nothing within a metre behind his back legs. Horses have a much bigger personal space bubble than humans, and that is probably about a metre around the body. Whenever you ask the horse to back, make sure it's safe for them to do. Do not back them over poles or over witches' hats. It must be perfectly safe, all right, for them, because you need to de um, develop a, a bond of trust and safety. You keep the horse safe and he'll keep you safe. All right, so that's backing. How do we move our horse sideways? We split our horse into head and neck, front legs and back legs. I'm gonna show you how to move the front legs first. The head 
is dictating where the rest of the body goes. I'm supporting the chin and I've got my hand just on his front legs and I'm just gently pushing those to the side. If I want to do his rear legs, I'll come around here, I'll tilt the head towards me and I am just barely touching his, the back of his rib cage. When I finish, I either take the pressure away or rub to a stop. I'll do that again. Come on, Jit. That was a nice ask. He's following me beautifully today. Back him up. I'm going to look where I want him to move to in a straight line. You can support with the, hop, the lead rope underneath their neck and then backwards. Again, I'll ask him to come forward. I'm softening my body. That's it, come forward, baby. And I can cluck. Right, now I'm going to move his hind quarters away first. I'm tilting his head and he moves around beautifully. And if I want to go to the other side, I'll tilt it back this way, very gently. And there we are, beautiful. Backing up, Duke. Good boy. And that is basically how you communicate what you want to your horse. Whenever he's not working, allow him some space and that's a reward they like doing nothing. But the other thing to remember is this is a safer spot to stay next to a horse on the shoulder or the front leg. It's difficult, more difficult for them to bite you. It's almost impossible for you to get kicked. And it's also the safe spot and the, the herd's safety spot for the horse. Standing on either side of the shoulder is the safest place to stay around the horse. Thanks and I look forward to seeing you out in our beautiful arena.